everyone and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by today's title, I'm going to be unboxing a Look Fantastic mystery box. So here is the mystery box. So at the moment on Look Fantastic, they have got their mystery box bundles again, whereby there's three different boxes that are £15 each, or you can pick up three for £30. So I did pick up all three and I thought that I would unbox each one just separately to see what products I got inside. I've never tried any of Look Fantastic's subscription services before. I've never actually bought anything from their website, to be honest. Thought I had nothing to lose. 30 pounds, three mystery boxes. What's the worst that can happen? So stick around to see what I get in my mystery box. So as I said, this is the mystery box. The other two actually just came in plain cardboard. This is the only one in the big box that actually had any kind of nice pattern on it. So I don't know whether the other two will have nice boxes inside or whether they'll just be plain brown cardboard. But I haven't opened this up yet. I've got no idea what any of the products are in here. I will open it up, show you the items one by one, just have a little explanation about what they are. And I thought as well, it would be interesting to have a look and see what the RRP was for all of these items, just to work out whether this box really is as good a value as it says it is. So just opening this up now, the first thing I can see is we've got the little magazine here. So I assume there's gonna be details of all of the products in here. I'm not going to look in this just yet because I don't want any spoilers as to what is in this box. This is what it looks like inside. It comes in this really nice tissue paper. It's just got a little sticker here, just holding it together. So I'll have a little reach in and see what the first item is. Okay, so I can see that there's loads of really nice goodies in here. I'm gonna pick them out one by one and then have a look in the little book and see exactly what it says about them. This is the first item that I pulled out of my Look Fantastic mystery box. And this is the Ahava Dead Sea Mud Mineral Mud Soap. It says mud soap for body removes all impurities and refreshes the skin. Um, and then it doesn't really give much more information in the booklet, to be honest. It just says it's a purifying soap and then just general instructions on how to use soap. I'll just get it out of the box to see what it looks like. It does smell really nice, actually. So this is the soap. It's a fairly good sized bar, I would say, for one of these types of boxes. It smells almost like um, like the St. Ives face masks. I don't know whether they've both got some sort of mud in them, but it smells really, really nice. I've had a little look online and all I can find is the full size bar, which is 100 grams, retails for about £8.50. So this one here is just a 30 gram bar. So give or take, three pounds or so for just this soap. The next item that I have pulled out of my Look Fantastic Mystery Box is this brush here. This is a Brushworks double-ended brow brush. So this does say here, this is cruelty-free and vegan. So that's really good to know. And this is what the brush looks like. So I really like this rose gold here. It's probably one of my favorite colors. We've got a nice fine angled brush on one end and then just the spoolie on the other. So in the book for this, it just says a dual ended eyebrow brush to help you achieve the perfect brow with every use. I haven't tried any of Brushworks brushes, so I'm not sure how well they perform or anything like that. I have also had a quick look online just to see how much this brush retails for. And you can actually pick this up on Beauty Bay and it RRPs for four pounds. So I think that's firstly a really good price for this kind of brush. And secondly, we're already at seven pounds for the two items that I've looked at so far. So it almost covered the cost of the box already. This is the next thing that I've pulled out of the mystery box. And this is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. So this says it helps to exfoliate, tone and brighten alcohol free and safe for sensitive skin which is brilliant because i have really really sensitive skin and i often find it quite hard actually to find things to put on my face without my face being irritated um so this here just says wipe pad across face neck once or twice daily after cleansing and i haven't tried anything from first aid beauty 
So this looks like this will be a really good product to try out. So in the book here, it actually looks like, depending on which box you receive, you either would have received the facial pads or you could have received a coconut water cream. But I think to be honest with you, I have quite a lot of creams and these facial pads, if I'd had the option to pick, I probably would have actually picked those. Looks like it's got some quite nice ingredients here, lemon peel, cucumber, licorice root. So looks looks really nice and I'm quite excited to try these out. I've just had a little look online to see how much this RRP is for. And the full size of this, you actually get 60 pads and that costs 30 pounds. Even just in this small packet, you get 10 pads. So that still works out at five pounds worth of cleansing pads. So I think we've already covered <laughs> the cost of our mystery box just with three items. So yeah, looking forward to seeing item number four. The fourth item that I've pulled out of my mystery box is this little tub here. And this is the Christoph Robin Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. I wasn't sure whether this was a face mask or a hair mask, but just having a look in the little book, it says it's a revitalizing hair treatment, perfect for dry and damaged hair, full of antioxidant and regenerative properties, protecting your hair from split ends and breakages, and is also good for color treated hair. So I have never heard of this brand myself. I do like that this is for dry and damaged hair because I do straighten my hair pretty much every single day and if I can use a hair mask to counteract <laughs> some of that then I definitely will do so looking forward to trying this one out. I'm not sure what the prickly pear seed oil scent will be so let's have a little. Okay so it smells quite fresh. It almost smells a bit like talcum powder. Reminds me of um, when you were a child and you'd have a bath and your mum would cover you in talcum powder so I'm getting that kind of scent from it. I'll definitely be using this and I'm sure I will report back as to how I got on with it. I've also had a little look online just to see how much this retails for. The full size of this, which is almost five times as big as this one here, actually retails for £54. So just this tiny pot of hair mask is £10, which to me seems extortionate for such a small amount of hair mask. It really should do an amazing job if that's how much they're charging but i got it within my box it's it is the cost of the box so everything else now is just a bonus but yeah interested to see how i'd get on with this i can see that there are three more items in my look fantastic mystery box and the next thing i've pulled out is this this is the polar ice sauce moisturizing cream with iceberg water so not really sure what that means. I'll have a look in my book. So it says for this, it's a cooling treatment that will leave your skin feeling hydrated and refreshed. Combining three active ingredients, this face mask nourishes your complexion by warding off dryness and dehydration. So I'm hoping that this is good for sensitive skin. It doesn't actually say on here and it also doesn't say on here, but what I'll probably do is just try out a little bit on my face just to see how that goes before obviously covering my entire face with it. I'm not sure of the fragrance because it is sealed and I don't want to open it just yet. Again, not heard of this brand, so don't really have any expectations as to how this will perform. I'll just have a quick look and see how much this retails for. Well, it looks like with this moisturising cream, the full size product is 50 mils. This one here is 20 mils, but the 50 mil version is 28 pounds. So this is slightly less than half the size of that. So let's say 12 pounds worth of <laughs> moisturizing cream. Again, better do a really good job because I'm not sure I would pay that much for a moisturizing cream unless I knew it was gonna work wonders for me. So the next item in my mystery box is another makeup item. And this time it is this Lottie London AM to PM eyeliner. So I've never tried anything from Lottie London before. They do have some really pretty looking eyeshadow palettes actually, but that's as far as I've got with this brand. So looking in the book, this is a pencil eyeliner with a gel finish to add drama and definition to your eye makeup look. So it does say as well, this is cruelty free and vegan. So again, that's really good to know. I would like to think that everything in the box is vegan just so it would cater to everybody. 
but I'm not sure because it doesn't say on all of the products. I've also had a quick look to see just how much this eyeliner retails for and you can pick up this Lottie eyeliner for £4.95. And this is the final item in my Look Fantastic mystery box and this time we've got a Bloom and Blossom Wonder Worker Multitasking Balm. So this looks really nice. This just says apply with clean fingers to skin that needs extra attention. And just getting a bit more information from the book, it's a versatile skin loving wonder balm filled with a blend of nourishing ingredients to condition and hydrate your skin. It looks like you can use this on dry hands, chapped lips, just anywhere that just needs a bit of extra moisturization. It's another brand I've not heard of, but interested to see how this works and whether it isn't you know a multitasking wonder balm as they say it is and just looking online this balm actually retails for around five pounds so it looks like we've got quite a consistent theme of most things in the box being five pounds bar a couple well i've just worked out how much everything in the box retails for and it is around 44 to 45 pounds which considering I paid £10 for this box as part of a three mystery box bundle, I think is really fantastic value. There's definitely a few different items in here that I haven't seen in other boxes. I think all of these brands actually are new to me. And I think that just makes it really exciting because sometimes you do get just stuck into using the same old things. I'm not necessarily saying I'm gonna go out and pay £54 for a hair mask, but I think it's a really great way to try some new brands. I don't know whether this is one of their previous boxes because I have never tried their subscription boxes before or whether the mystery boxes are specially curated. This has just made me really, really excited to open the other two boxes. I don't know whether I will receive any duplicate items, so you'll just have to stay tuned for the next videos to find out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.